This data sufficiency question is asking whether the areas of these two triangles are equal. And lucky for us, finding the area of a right triangle is not that hard because we have a base and its height as the two sides with the 90 degrees in between them. And we know that the area is just half of their product. So for triangle ABC, the area is half of AC times BC. And for the other triangle, ABD, the area is half of AB times AD. And the question is, are those equal? So I'm just going to expand my equation by a factor of 2 to avoid having fractions and just ask, are these two products equal to one another? Now statement 1 gives us the ratio of AC to AD, but with just that, I'm missing a lot of information, right? I don't know anything about the length of BC, I don't know anything about the length of AB, and so this is not sufficient on its own. Let's go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that statement 1 is sufficient on its own. So A and D are gone, and we're down to BC or E. Now statement 2 is somewhat similar, right? It only gives us a ratio between two sides. In this case, it's AC to BC. Now I can infer a third column for this ratio. Thanks to the Pythagorean theorem, I can say that if AC to BC is 1 to 1, then AB is square root of 2 in terms of ratio units. But I still don't have any information about the length of AD, and therefore I can't answer the question. Statement 2 is not sufficient on its own, and we'll eliminate B. Now here's what we can do when we have both statements combined. Remember that ratio from statement 2 where I introduced an inference column? So we had AC to BC to AB is 1 to 1 to square root of 2. Well, we also know from statement 1 that AD to AC is 1 to square root of 2. Now, it's a bit annoying because I have two different numbers representing AC. For the purposes of data sufficiency, I can stop here and say, look, I could consolidate these ratios if I wanted to, and therefore I would be able to answer the question, and this is sufficient, and I can go ahead and pick C and move on to the next question. But just for our purposes, in case this comes up as a problem-solving question, let's just use this opportunity to practice consolidating ratios. So on the one hand, we have AC represented by one ratio unit. On the other hand, we have AC represented by square root of two ratio units. I propose that we just choose one of those. Let's go with square root of two. So if AC is actually square root of two, then BC is also square root of two, and AB is square root of two times square root of two. So 2. So again, AC is square root 2, BC is square root 2, AB is 2, and AD is 1. Because remember, we had AD to AC is 1 to square root of 2, and that's a direct inference from statement 1. So now I have a full four-way ratio, and now I can find what those products are that we're asking about. We wanted to know AC times BC. That works out to 2, because square root 2 times square root 2 equals 2. And AD times AB also works out to 2 because AD was one ratio unit and AB was two ratio units. The product is 2, and therefore it turns out that, yes, these two triangles do have the same area, and the correct answer is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.